And then on food prices, well, food prices, I think we've got a CBC, oh my goodness, CBC's microphone has fallen down. What do you know? Who would have thought that I'd be holding on to the CBC logo here today? Um, I'll give that to you. I don't know if that... Um, everything is broken in Canada after nine years of the NDP Liberals, including the CBC microphone. Uh Look at this picture of Christia Freeland coming in in the, like a hallway of parliament with four other liberals. Look at that picture. Like she's trying to look like she's some superhero on a mission. Look at that. <laughs> Are you trying to look cool with your hair in the wind? Your friend hit there who's got a coffee. Like, look at these dweebs actually trying to look cool in this picture right here. So the main reason why I was doing this video in the first place is because the Hill Times published an article Monday attacking Pierre Paul Yev for wanting to cut Trudeau's media subsidies, saying that he was going to defund the CBC. In their article where they're basically talking smack about Pierre, they forgot to mention that $120,000 in grants in the last 18 months, $898,000 in news clipping contracts, and payroll rebates of up to $29,750,000 per employee at the Hill Times. Wow! So next time that you want to talk smack about Pierre Polyev um, wanting to cut government subsidies, you might want to mention that your newspaper is receiving a lot of these subsidies and that's why you're mad about it, right? Anyways, comment down below if you agree. Thanks for watching.